Without further ado, let's welcome Vivek Ramaswamy to the stage. Love you guys. Thank you for having me. My challenge to you is how do we work together to actually restore free speech in this country so you get to speak your mind as long as I get to in return? How do we actually restore religious liberty in this country so you are free to worship if you wish to worship how you want in this country? How do we work together to restore the actual Second Amendment, not as a recommendation, but as a right in this country? How do we put an end to a central bank digital currency once and for all in the United States? How do we end the Federal Reserve's failed policies and bring competition to the dollar in the United States of America. No, I love it. How do we how do we shut down the three-letter agencies that populate this infested cities in Washington, D.C.? We're not just reforming it. You cannot reform that beast. You want to get serious, get in there and shut down it down. Shut down the FBI. Shut down the ATF. Shut down the CDC. Shut down the U.S. Department of Education. Fire 75% of the federal bureaucrats in Washington, D.C., and send them home packing because they never should have had that job in the first place. Rescind every unconstitutional federal regulation that Congress never passed. SEC to FTC to FDA to TSA. I call that one thousand standing around, by the way. God knows what. Do you want to get 3% or shoot for that as a stretch goal, or do you actually want to change this country by working together? And I will tell you this. I'm speaking to you as a libertarian at my own core. I have gotten to know Donald Trump over the course of the last several years and the last several months, and you're going to hear from him tomorrow night. And the question is, do you want to influence the next administration or don't you? That is the question for this room to ask. And my thesis for you, you believe in? <laughs> you all get to speak your mind. I respect that. Libertarians in the room got to speak up. But now the question is, how do you get it done? I believe the future of this country depends on a libertarian nationalist alliance that will save this country. That's what I believe is required. Free Ross. Pardon Assange, and Snowden deserves to come home. That much we agree on. I said it on day one of the campaign, and if we have anything to do with it, just met Gabriel, Julian's brother. That man should not be in a foreign prison. That's what it means to be free. And by the way, every peaceful January 6th protester deserves a pardon, along with every one of those protesters on day one in this country. That's what it means to stand for one standard of the rule of law in America. I've heard rumors of Marco Rubio being considered for VP. I mean, the guy, we're not big fans of Rubio here. The guy, now, I've, I've heard rumors about great people, including yourself uh, as well, but like, the, it, the question is, is like, has he learned any, is there any indication that he's actually learned how to maneuver once in power? I know for a fact Donald Trump would say the same thing about the fact of coming in from the outside, not knowing the first thing about politics, coming in from the world of business, but I think that's an advantage. And then saying, you know what, am I going to run for a second term if I already did everything perfectly the first time? There'd be no reason to run for a second term. And so it's my view that we have an opportunity to shape for the better the future direction of the America First movement. Do we want to seize it or not? I believe we do. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing every bit of what I am doing. That's why we have now an official opposition in the Republican Party platform from the top down to the opposition of a central bank digital currency to backdoor censorship from tech companies in ways that we did not several years ago. And I think that this is the direction of the future. Take that positive national pride strand of the America First movement. Combine it with the libertarian core of the Constitution. I believe believe in this election cycle, unambiguously, the best chance to do that is making sure of two things. One is not only is Donald Trump the next president of the United States, but those of you in this room have an opportunity to shape the way we actually run this country. I spoke to him in the last couple of days, and he says we want to work together with the libertarians. I take him at his word, and if I have anything to do with it, you have my word. I can give you that. 
that you are going to make sure the policies you care about in this room are translated into action in the next administration. Yeah. That's what I could tell you. Well, so, all right. Well, Thank you. That was like a friendly comment. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was, that was a friendly comment delivered in the most aggressive way I've ever seen. <laughs> you should be fucking vice president, man. And you're like, all right. All right. I've never was, been threatened into being VP before. <laughs> <laughs>